So how does Microsoft leverage 24 trillion signals per day to fight cyber attacks? And who exactly collects that data and in turn paints the meaningful profile of the very adversary groups security defenders are potentially about to meet? Picture this, it's a few days before Christmas and not a creature was stirring until a manufacturing company was hit with ransomware. While the scope of the damage begins small, the proverbial gates of the victim's organization's attack surface are wide open. Sounds like a common story, right? The organization reaches out to their third-party AV partner to examine the threat and determine next steps. And within limited scope of support in place, they're pointed towards Microsoft's security support team. This is one of many of our customer-facing incident response stories that we tend to handle on a day-to-day -day basis all around the world. So what happens next? There are many teams at Microsoft serving the incident response ecosystem that supports our customers. I'm a part of a detection and response team, or DART, and we focus on providing incident response investigations and attacker containment to customers facing these types of cybersecurity attacks. At DART, we don't have a crystal ball providing us with the necessary information that enables our threat hunting when time is sensitive. And in many cases, the data collected over time by all these teams has built a repository of threat intelligence that helps us define who we're potentially working against and what techniques and tactics may have been employed. The team that helps harvest this intelligence is Microsoft's Threat Intelligence Center, or MISTIC. This team tracks threat actors and collects this valuable data, along with guidance to help lead investigatory efforts. And more importantly, the new threats that appear in the wild are quickly infused into Microsoft's products and technologies, so other defenders have a chance to detect and respond. So who exactly was targeting the small company we mentioned earlier? When incidents are escalated up to DART, we'll perform a series of actions to get the customer moving in the right direction, the initial intake process of the case, and often also includes collecting samples of malicious files or forensic data of compromised machines, of which that information we share with our friends at Mystic. In this case, the victim organization was able to provide not one, but two file samples of the ransomware which indicated that they were two different variants. And one of the variants had been previously unknown with the other, having a signature already uploaded into our Defender AV and other products for about a month. But as we all know, a month means many detection products are either not up to date or haven't acquired the intel yet. The customer was able to act fast and provide this necessary data that ended up enhancing what we already knew on the Threat Actor Group and ultimately helped us build out additional signatures for other custom compiled versions of this threat actor tool. Dev0530, AKA Holy Ghost, is a threat actor group originating from North Korea and commonly associated with building custom ransomware and targeting victims for financial gain. Well, this group's been linked to communicating with other predominant threat actor groups, specifically Plutonium, whom have their own usual patterns of targeting and tactics. Dev0530 attempts to legitimize their actions by claiming to increase the victim's security awareness by letting the victims know about their security posture through attacking it. And the silver lining is that this is the very custom compiled data we collect from their attack that's been used to mitigate other victims. Our mission is to do whatever can be done due diligence and for the greater good. This partnership between DART and Mystic serves that mission. If we take a closer look at the variants in this use case, Mystic's able to correlate specific abilities between these versions such as obfuscation, a ransomware family type, functionality, command and control infrastructure, and other links between more versions already aggregated. All this information laid upon a timeline of use 
further enhances our own knowledge and visibility of that threat actor. It may not be a crystal ball, but it certainly helps us navigate and map out the cyber battlefield. I'm sure you're wondering, what happened to this company? With ransomware, we all know how imperative it is to be well armed with threat intelligence and act quickly. The customer was able to get Microsoft engineers on the ground to help rebuild core services and ultimately patching any attack surface gaps. The net win of this engagement was that we were able to help many other customers, even if they don't have the resources to be fully prepared for the cyber attack. The moral of this story is that without an understanding of the threat, attack path, gaps, we limit our ability to investigate and ultimately defend. Reactive engagements is largely dependent upon the collaboration and the due diligence of these Microsoft teams. You can find more information on this story at aka.ms forward slash holy ghost malware. This story is one of many examples where tracking these threat actor groups contributed to an enhanced view of new victims requiring investigations, some of whom had no idea that they had even been compromised until we were able to aggregate and validate that intel. In fact, recently published research back in March highlights the work that Dart and Mystic performed on six different investigations attributed to lapsus within just a year time frame, allowing us to continue this valuable effort of investigating and continuously providing more data back to Mystic for analysis. Dev0537, aka Lapsus, is known for using pure extortion and destruction model without deploying ransomware payloads. This group globally targets organizations in government, technology, telecom, media, retail, and healthcare sectors. The reason why Lapsus was and continues to be such a priority in tracking was because unlike most threat actor groups, they maintain covert operations staying under the radar. Their patterns include identity-centric focus of techniques and of course require detection and response processes and technology to identify those in real time. Some of these techniques and tactics being tracked included going as far as the threat actor group offering to recruit employees from the inside for credential access into specific targeted organizations. This initial access method created a precedent for insider risk capability of our customers so that these techniques were met by detection tooling and mitigation options. By gathering all this intel across a multitude of investigations doesn't just give us the goal of predictability, but it helps DART prioritize critical recommendations for environment hardening and monitoring to be released to the public. To learn more about DART research, visit aka.msdart.com.